today we're going to do something a little bit different. Yeah. Not cool. too much acting involved in this one. Right. We were just going to talk a little bit about how we stay connected with the Lord throughout our week. And this isn't to be legalistic and be like, oh, check mark, check mark, check mark. Um, some of the things I do, I and I think we do kind of a, very similar things, but church on Sundays, my husband and I go to a smaller church, which is great. It's really good for community, and I love it. Um, if you're in Austin, it's called Point Community Church, and it's in South Austin. Um, so we do that on Sundays, and then Wednesdays we have our smaller group where we meet and have more intentional conversation and build relationships. And then on Tuesday evenings, I do Gospel DNA, which is just kind of like another small group, but it's just women, and we really dive into uh, more just deeper issues of self and Christ, and it kind of changing you from the inside out, changing your DNA. So anyway, do that. Um, and then I have a Bible study that I do on my own. It's called The Armor of God. It's by Priscilla Shire. She's awesome. Yes, and it's so good. It makes me read the Bible in a different way, and I like have to flip here and have to flip mm. here, and otherwise I probably wouldn't do that on my own. So that's that's why I got the study is because I wanted to be more intentional with my reading. So that's really helped me. Yeah. So that's some of the stuff I do. That's awesome. Um, mine looks very similar to that. Um, church is a regular thing in my husband and, and my life. Um and from before, from our dating life, I mean, I grew up going to church on Sunday, so that's an important part. It just helps me kind of reset my mind and just start the week um, fresh. Uh, so we, we love doing that. And then we have Wednesday nights, we have our small group, um, which is basically, it's it's in my community, and it's Christians doing life together, essentially. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. um, and we really enjoy that. And then Saturday mornings, I have my... LTG group, which is Life Transformation Group. It's basically an accountability group. It's me and three other women, or sorry, me and two other women, so three of us total, um, and we're, we're friends, and we go through a study. Um, you know, we, 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 like, watch an hour video. We discuss questions. We talk about um, what we're going through in life at that time. We pray for one another. So we're, we're really intentional with that time um, on Saturday mornings. And we make breakfast together, so that's Aww, always really nice, too. We have, like, eggs cute. and muffins and stuff. It's great. Um, but even more than all of those things, I think the way that I mostly stay connected throughout the week is actually in my own alone time with the Lord. And that looks different. A lot of times it, it can be just in reading the Bible on my own in the morning. It's important to me that I read the Bible every day, even if it's a verse. Um, there's just something about reading the Bible, I think, that is so important. I mean, there are so many great books out there, Christian books too, that are great, mm -hmm. but I think the best one we can read is the Bible, and there's everything in there that mm -hmm. we really need. It, it is everything we need. Um, you know, it talks about everything. It talks about money. It talks about relationships. It talks about sex. It talks about just everything. Yeah. Um, success and wisdom peace, just all the things that we, I think, strive and search for is in that book. Um, and I would say, actually, for me, the biggest way that I stay connected is through music. Oh, yeah. For me, it is mm -hmm. through, like, praise and worship music. I have it on in my car all the time. When I'm home, I have it, like, booming through my speakers all the time. Nice. Um, and I love it. I'm very musically inclined. I, I love music. I love to sing. Uh, I just always have, uh, you know, from, I came out of the womb singing basically. <laughs> so I feel like that's how I really connect with the Lord is when yeah. I'm praising and worshiping through music and through song. Uh, and I just feel his presence very closely, um, through, through music and in those times alone with the Lord. I mean, honestly, like if you watched my security footage of me at home, I'm literally like praising the Lord to the music oh, and I love, love it. it. I That's so love good. it. Um, and it, I just feel like through the music, it just, again, just same kind of thing. Like it's just uplifting and it just yeah. puts my mind in a great place and my heart space in a good place. So, yeah. um, and then I just feel like I'm also... I'm constantly talking to the Lord. Mm -hmm. Like, it's not just like a prayer in the morning and then a prayer before I eat my food. Like, I feel like 
I'm constantly Constantly communing with him. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, I did my workout this morning and after my workout, the first thing I was like, thank you, Lord, that I have a body that I can work out this morning. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Because you don't think about it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That I have the ability to do it when there are people that are bedridden and can't, you know, so it's just, just little things like that, that just help me feel close to the Lord and, 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 and feel his presence. Um, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I've talked for a long time there. <laughs> it's okay. It's a good topic. Um, on that, it's it's interesting, the whole worship thing. My mom, she listens to Caleb every morning. And when I went to stay with her for a month, she was trying to be respectful of me sleeping while she got up and got ready for work, so she wasn't turning on her music. And I noticed after a little while that she was kind of just different. She wasn't her normal, spunky, upbeat self. And um, so I brought it to her attention one day, and then... She's like, that's funny that you say that because, you know, my boss was saying the same thing. She was asking me what's wrong. And I was like, there's nothing wrong. Nothing has happened. I don't, I'm not sure what you're talking about. And so I was like, are you doing anything different? She was like, well, no, the only thing that I can think of is I'm not turning on the music in the morning. And I was like, that's probably it. So she turned on the music and she was back to herself. And it's so funny how just that, like starting your day with God in that worshiping way or with music, it just, it's good for your soul. It just starts you off right. And it, it was so evident in her that it was useful. Mm, absolutely. Um, and another thing that I do, and I love to do this in the mornings when I'm making coffee or making the bed, putting on my makeup, brushing my teeth, like all that, I turn on a podcast. I like to listen to a sermon, either from my church if I missed it, or I listen to a lot of Joyce Meyer. She's very blunt and very forward, and she has a whole bunch of topics. So I listen to her in the mornings, or I'll listen like on my commute somewhere. Instead of the radio, I'll just put on my podcast. Or um, if I go walking around in the evenings, like around my complex, I just put on Joyce or some other kind of podcast. And it's just feeding my soul in a different way. But I'm like Brittany, too. I, have, I feel like I have constant communication with God throughout the day. And it brings him to the forefront. You know, he's the lens that we see through our lives through or that we hope to. And so that's what I try to do. You know, and I just think, too, like having really intentional conversations with people. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uplifting. Agreed. And, you know, talking about what we've learned or just just different things. Mm-hmm. I, I love that, you know. I, I mean, you and I have good conversations, I feel like, about the Lord. And I have other friends, too. You know, we go out to dinner and we talk about it. And... It's like, you know, someone lights a fire and then they light it in, in mm-hmm. the other person and the other person and it spreads and it's, I just love it. Yeah. You know, it's very encouraging to have yeah. those kind of conversations and you learn mm-hmm. so much through them. I normally don't pray over my auditions. I think I just feel selfish asking for stuff through auditions and stuff. I don't know why. But anyway, I had an audition the other day and I thought, you know what? I haven't prayed over an audition. I'm just going to pray. And I didn't pray to book it. I was just praying like, Lord help this be an audition that glorifies you. And I, I'm still struggling with what that means in all aspects of life. But it's like, I just want this to glorify you. I just want your light to shine through me during the audition. And I just pray that it's an audition where I'm remembered and I'm brought back. Um, So went in, had the audition. It was great. It was kind of a bigger deal just because it's for a casting director that I don't often see. Anyway, I found out later that I was on hold for that. And I was like, oh, cool. You know, that's one step further. I wasn't even expecting that. I just wanted a good audition. But I'm on hold, so that's great. And if I don't book it, fine. And then later I found out I booked it. I'm like, oh, my gosh, I haven't been in this casting director's office in a while, and I booked it. Thank you, Lord. That was like an extra gift from you because I wasn't asking for that. Um, But he just blessed it totally. I do pray that God opens up opportunities for me and I, and I pray that, you know, I walk through doors that he's provided and shut doors that I don't need to go through. Um, but I don't often pray over the audition, which I probably should. I pray for safety on my travel there and all that. Anyway, it was just like a big blessing. Yeah. I'm just really thankful. Power of prayer. I know. It's a real thing. (laughs) Yeah. That's awesome. And I'm currently reading this book called do what Jesus did. It's by Robbie Dawkins and I have listened to his uh, video, no, listened to his audio uh, stuff in the car. And it's just kind of about the Holy Spirit and how we're filled with the Holy Spirit. And we have power from the Holy Spirit to do things that Jesus did. But it's a great, great book. It's so inspiring and I just love it. So just try to stay connected to Christ however you can. This is an industry where I feel like your relationship with Jesus can really go on the back burner because of all the pressures and all the just 
darkness in this industry. So. And just like any relationship in life, it takes work. Yeah. You know. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, you're going to have, yeah. You're going to have to read your Bible when you don't feel like it. You're going to mm -hmm. have to, you know, go to church even when you're tired and you don't feel like it. And relationships take work and yeah. our relationship with the Lord is no different. So. And it's the best relationship you'll ever have. Better than any relationship you'll have on earth. Yeah, absolutely. Bye. Bye.